a runny nose, watery eyes, sneezing, and a stuffy or itchy nose. These are all signs that you may have allergies or allergic rhinitis. The term rhinitis refers to inflammation in your nose. Allergic rhinitis that happens in only part of the year is often called seasonal rhinitis or hay fever. Rhinitis that happens all year long is called perennial allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis usually isn't a serious problem, but the symptoms can sometimes disrupt your daily life. Your immune system protects your body from germs, but sometimes the immune system can also react to certain harmless substances in the environment that are not germs. This kind of substance is called an allergen. When an allergen comes into contact with the body, the immune system releases chemicals called histamines. These are what caused your allergy symptoms. The most common environmental triggers or allergens are pollens, grasses, dust, trees, weeds, molds, and animals. Other common allergens are cockroach particles, dust mite droppings, dandruff from pets, and dried skin flakes, smoke, and strong odors are also irritants, as well as changes in temperature and humidity. All of these can cause symptoms of allergic rhinitis. Some of the symptoms you might get with allergic rhinitis include a runny nose, sneezing, nasal congestion or blockage, sinus congestion or sinus headaches, watery eyes, itching of the nose, ears, skin, eyes, roof of the mouth, and throat, and coughing and wheezing, especially if you have asthma. Your healthcare provider will ask about your symptoms, and when they occur, tell him or her if you've taken any medicines for your symptoms and whether it helped. The next step might be a skin or blood test for allergies. Allergy testing can help your healthcare provider find out what triggers your symptoms. Your symptoms may get better or go away if you stay away from substances that trigger them. Your healthcare provider might advise you to try medicines that block histamines, these medicines are called antihistamines. They are available over the counter, at your local pharmacy, or your healthcare provider may prescribe you one. Some antihistamines can make you sleepy. Others are less likely to make you tired. Ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist about the specific side effects of each medicine. Your healthcare provider might also recommend decongestants. These can help relieve your stuffy nose. You don't need a prescription for most decongestants, but some are only sold with the prescription. Decongestants can make it hard to sleep. They can also make you irritable and feel like your heart is racing. They are not recommended for people with certain health conditions. Always check with your healthcare provider before taking a decongestant or other over-the-counter medicine. If you have high blood pressure, a heart condition, or any other health conditions such as diabetes, glaucoma, prostate problems, or thyroid problems. Steroid nasal sprays are one of the best treatments for allergic rhinitis. They are available by prescription and over-the-counter. They work best if you use them regularly. If you've had allergy testing your healthcare provider might recommend allergy shots. Allergic rhinitis and asthma often occur together. If you have asthma your healthcare provider might recommend additional treatments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.